Only on four tonight, parking meters can be found at almost every corner of downtown McAllen. However, an audit report released last week says the city hasn't made an attempt to cash in on the tickets in years, and it's not the first time they've failed to do so. CBS 4's Patrick Shelvier investigates. Parking citations cost no more than $20 in downtown McAllen, but according to a recent audit report, more than $900,000 is unaccounted for. It actually surprises me because normally there was a big um, move on trying to collect that money. It's money when it's audited, you want to make sure to try to see that all due diligence is done in order to collect what is owed. According to the report, more than 104,000 tickets were written between August 2010 and December 2015, all of which remain unpaid. Monica Weisberg Stewart owns around 37,000 square feet of property in downtown McAllen and has made it her goal to help the area thrive, which is why news of the unpaid parking tickets came as a surprise. The money that is made from the parking meters actually goes towards parking needs of the downtown area. A standard parking meter citation costs drivers $4. That total can jump to seven after 24 hours without payment. A citation for improper parking will run you $15 and climb to $20 without an immediate payment. Mario Delgado with Downtown Services wasn't available for comment, but in a written statement to CBS 4 News, City Manager Roy Rodriguez says a number of tickets were by cars with Mexican or Canadian license plates. Quote, some of them we just know we're not going to collect. It's just very difficult to track that down, end quote. This isn't the first run in McAllen has had with parking meters. According to a 2008 audit, the city didn't have a plan collecting fines, leading to a balance of nearly $800,000, all dating back to 1999. To us, it's a loss for downtown, but it also says that our city truly didn't do their due diligence in what they were supposed to do in order to collect that money. In McAllen, Patrick Shalvier, CBS 4 News and ValleyCentral.com. In the past, the city used to boot cars that didn't pay up. That method has since stopped.